Hey, this is Nicolosi. It's been a while since I've made a demo video for Mela, but I'd like to slowly get back to making them. It will give me an opportunity to share my design decisions and geek out a little. Let's see how it goes. Since the beginning of this year, I've been adding modules to the Mela MIDI plugin. Version 3.5 now comes with a total of 10 modules, with which you can create a lot of interesting MIDI effects chains. What's particularly exciting about this update is that it brings modulation capabilities to the Mela MIDI plugin. In this AUM session, I have the Mela MIDI plugin's output routed to the Mela synth. Let's look at this factory preset called Dancing Echoes. In this chain, you'll notice two instances of the new random module. They're modulating the parameters of the arpeggiator and node echo modules. You can see how the parameters are changing based on the animations of the modulation value indicators. Because the pitch parameter of the node echo is randomly modulated, the output may not sound musically pleasing. Therefore, we have the scale module inserted to lock the notes to one of the five pitches. Let's look at the random module. It has two views, the main and modulation targets view. Tap on the view switcher button to change the current view. The main view displays the rate, depth and offset parameter controls, as well as the oscilloscope of the resulting modulation signal. The module generates a bipolar signal by default, but you can make it unipolar by setting both the offset and depth parameters to 50%. This means you have more flexibility than just having a unipolar bipolar switch. Additionally, you can drag the oscilloscope horizontally to adjust the rate and vertically to adjust the offset parameter. The modulation targets view allows you to select the target parameters and set corresponding modulation intensities. You can see all parameters of the plugin are listed as possible targets. Each instance of the random module can modulate up to eight parameters. Unlike the other modules, the random module doesn't do any MIDI processing. It simply passes the signal through this means they can be inserted anywhere in the chain and the output signal will not change for the same input. Let's quickly create a preset from scratch. First, I'll insert the control change module. This generates a MIDI CC messages as you move the value slider. You can choose the message type here. Let's leave it on the mod wheel. You can hear it changes the vibrato amount of the synth. Now let's add the random module and modulate the value slider. That's all for now. For full details, check out the release notes. If you enjoy using Mela, please leave a review on the App Store. And for any questions or feedback, leave a comment below. See you next time.